Hello, going to be doing a quick guide on overclocking for the GTX 970. The first two things you want to make sure you have is an overclocking software. I prefer MSI Afterburner. Just type that into Google. First link, it's the official website. Don't like non official sites. And then something to benchmark on. You want something like a Valley, which if you scroll down, the free version. A lot of people use Valley. If you haven't seen it before, probably you have. It allows you to compare scores, but it's also a good stability test. And you can run it in a window like this. The advantage to that is if you bring over MSI Afterburner, this is one of the settings, well, skins for it, you can tweak settings while this is actually running in the background. So you can see what works and what doesn't. So, first thing you want to do is unlink these two when it's greyed out they're not linked so you can move these separately and your temp limit you probably want that around about somewhere between 80 and 90 what you're comfortable with you probably already know this yourself and your power limit set that to a maximum apply that second thing you want to do is play around with your core clock after you've found that your memory clock and then after that your voltage if you reach any issues getting the core clock you want. So to start off, well, since it's a 970, you probably want to go for 200. And then if that doesn't work, which it might not, but the best it's best to see like high end first. If that doesn't work, dial it back to like 150, and then try it. And then you click apply. You can see up here the core clock changes and this runs. The reason you want this open is you want to keep an eye out for any artifacts coming up on the screen or you want to see if this crashes at all. If you notice weird graphical glitches like artifacting like white marks and stuff then you want to dial back your overclock. And then once you've done that you can say okay that's safe. I want to go further then go up in intervals 10, change it to 160, click here to apply it make sure it runs, you see up here the core clock and basically you want to keep doing that until you get to a point where it no longer runs. Now once it gets to there, say for example if it stopped doing that at 180 you would want to dial that back to 170 or 160 and that would be your safe core clock. After you've done that you can go onto your memory and since this is uh, a 970 these ones you can go as high as like 400 or even 500. I'm not going to click apply there because I know mine won't run without changing the voltage which I'll go on to in a sec. So you want to go up to that, say if you did 400 and it ran, it was fine, go up in intervals of like 20 keep going till you find where you can't go up anymore then dial it back one or two notches to be safe. So for example if it stopped working at 480, dial it back to 440. And then, if you get to say a stage, say if it wasn't wasn't going to run at 160 core clock, you could increase your core voltage. And where you're safe with this is up to you. Some people don't like to put up too much voltage. I'm fine personally going all the way with this because it's not a huge amount of increase. But that is the one thing that will shorten your lifespan of your card is voltage. So if you do not want to use that, you don't want to risk shortening the lifespan, don't want to risk damaging your card, do not touch it. If you're not fine with those, just don't touch it. I, however, will load up my... I say I load up my one, but every time I go to do this, it keeps deleting my one instead. So the one I have is I have that at max. Power limit, I have at max, because it's always good to put that to max. Core clock's to 10. This is about 400. Click apply, and you can see 1538 megahertz. Pretty solid. And you keep an eye on here. Keep an eye on the temperature the card's running at. Check your frame rates. Ignore those. Unigine Valley won't post the correct uh, core clocks for graphics cards. I have no idea why. If you want to make sure it's running, uh, MSI Afterburner has a monitoring tool which I'm bringing over. 
where you can set up different tables to monitor different things. You can see here before I put on my custom overclock it was 70% power, now it's gone up to 86, so my one uses a lot more power. Temperature's starting to go up because of it, fan speed's going up, and that's just these are kind of performance monitors, CPU usage. I don't have an 8 core processor by the way, that's just Windows being silly, fix hyper threading to push cores. And up here you can actually monitor the real time core clock. So that was back at stock. That was the first week, second week, my custom one. And same with memory, back at clock, and then going up to my custom one. And you can actually check in real time if it's working. Uh, this will come with a piece of software called River Tuner, which you can use to monitor all this on screen in certain games. Like some games don't like it. I know Unigen Valley doesn't like it, but it's helpful for some others where it looks like this River Tuner statistic server. And what that looks like is that you turn on show on the screen display here. Oh, it's actually coming up this time, doesn't usually do it. But click that on, and you can customize where you want this. But if I show you here, it's a bit hard to see because of the green, but it shows you your core clock, your memory clock, your RAM stuff. You can edit these settings, by the way. You can change what it shows, what color it is, and where it shows it. But that's pretty much it. Just be safe for these small intervals. Go up in tens. So start from 150, go up in tens. For this one, you can go up in twenties, and then if you have to dial it back, go dial back in tens. And Keep going until you see artifacts. I've already tested this overclock, so I know this one works. I can't show you what happens when it crashes, because I'm using Shadow Play and that would actually end the recording. But you would know when it crashes, because your screen will go black for a second or two, and then it'll come back and your core clock will go back to the default. And it's, it's the, that's just a card saying, no, this is not working. Safety measure, go back to default settings. Um, final word before I go. This power limit and core voltage limit on my card is custom because I'm running a custom BIOS at the moment, and so is the, that total power. Um, I think that's actually about 50% more than the standard 770, uh, 970, sorry, how I've got it set up. So don't worry about those numbers being different, uh, but put your power to maximum. Right, don't want to make this go on for too long. Hopefully, that was helpful to you. If you've got any questions, just Put them in the comment section, I'm always willing to answer stuff. If you want to see something else, let me know. Right, thank you very much.